Howdy fam, hello, welcome back to Cocktail Flicks, I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. We are back to get right into Squid Game once again. We're so close to the end here, folks, and it's been a hell of a ride. Been enjoying this one. Yeah, the field is narrowed down to three, and we're going to find out what happens next. That, that couldn't be more obvious if they tried. <laughs> I'm just saying, unless there was just two left. So, And who knows, maybe that's going to be the case here soon, too. At this point, you're probably pretty desensitized to death anyway. And now nobody dies, though. So. Yes. But we are going to go ahead and jump right into this, folks. I don't think any BS is needed, do you, Dan? Nope. Nope. We're moving into episode eight, entitled Front Man. That's, the, that's clearly the guy with the mask, Dan. You say so. All right. Well, I'm ready to rock and roll you. Yep. All right. Well, in that case, movie gods, can we please get some drinks? Ah, thank you. Yeah, gods, thank you. <laughs> Soju and wings, what? A most excellent assortment. Yes, uh, our offerings must be pleasing the gods here, Dan. Hey. Yeah, we got some Korean wings here. All right, sold. <laughs> we'll take them. All right, well, I guess we know what we're eating. <laughs> okay. I guess so. I guess so. Well, folks, let's go ahead and do this. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Enjoy. Well, officer, you had just enough O2 to make it back, it seems. They can't catch one guy? Come on. He's being pursued by this island's army. And they can't catch one guy. Oh. I mean, the guy's not Rambo. He's a police officer. Is that who you were talking about? Oh, yeah. okay. No, you sacrificed people to stay alive. He really did. He's willing to kill you, too. He's not that stupid now, come on. Yeah, he's not the person you thought he was. Oh, I thought he was going to give them all a PlayStation. That's the next competition, a PlayStation. A PlayStation challenge? Yeah. Oh, God. Jesus, look at her. Oh, God. He's had that in here this whole time? I don't know how, but you, that's got to come out. Kind of nobody knows oh. it's sticking out. Oh, God. Why wouldn't you tell somebody? They might be able to actually help you. Right, everybody gets a nice tux. Well, at least they're going to die in style. Sanjir <laughs> Jabawa. Why would you want him alive? I say, if you just killed him, you killed him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised that didn't blow up. It did in the movie we just watched. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a fair point. <laughs> Damn it! Trace the call! You better call the Coast Guard. Oh, this is the special prize they have for him. A nice dinner. You think they know what to do with all this stuff? Who, these guys, uh, the people sitting down to eat? Yeah. I'm sure they know what to do with the food. I mean, there's like four different knives, three different forks. You think they know the etiquette for that? All I can tell you is that you start on the outside, work your way in. Yeah. But do they know that? I don't think it matters. But they get themselves a tomahawk steak! <laughs> Next game, you have to kill your opponent with the steak. Hell no, I'd be eating that steak. Look at that. They all got a fancy bottle of wine. Big old fruit plate there. And nobody seems to have an appetite. Well, I can't say I blame them after what they've been through. You just gave away the, the show there. You just told them that, that they're all in this to entertain somebody else. Beautifully cooked steak, though. Mm -hmm. I don't mind a little rare meat. I prefer medium, but... I'm just saying, I don't mind. They're all hungry as hell anyway. Been eating I corn on they, the cob and an egg. I think one day they just had a potato. I think these guys care about dying. They probably own the Coast Guard. At least the rights around this island anyway. Mm -hmm. Look good. This is still a game. I to fight it out with butter knives, really? That knife can still kill. It's got a point oh, yeah, again. It's got a point. Are these knives for dessert? 
경고했어. 더 이상 다가오면. Oh, you should have shot the front man. Maybe shoot him in the head next time. 내 말대로 그리하사로. 누구야? 당신. I'm your brother. Yep. 형. You gonna sacrifice your own brother for this? 형이 왜? He gave you one just like his. At least it wasn't a fatal shot. I mean, out there with nobody to help you out. May as well be. Well, I mean, if he falls off the cliff, it might be. It ended in the water. Small favors, I guess. Everybody wins, his brother survives, and he gets to say he killed the guy? I guess. With witnesses? But that's only gonna last so long, and you just revealed yourself. <laughs> I don't think it'll be that easy. No. I don't think it'll be that easy. 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 No, I think she probably knows what her fate is. Don't try it. It's a trick. If you were that kind of person, you're not now. He's a changed man, you can see it. Yeah, but realistically, this is his best chance to get out of this alive. <laughs> She's still bleeding good. You don't leave her. His hands are leaving blood all over him. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I thought she going to take her out. She's already dead. She just walked over there and killed her and... Probably hear him screaming and it woke oh, him up. Lord. So he went for the weak one instead of the one who was still alive and easy <laughs> target. He could technically still kill him right now. Hmm, fair point. Oh, why now you he... intervene. Yeah, why would? Why do you care all of a sudden? Oh, you want a final game, that's why. So he's not that kind of person, but his so-called friend certainly is the kind of person. Mm -hmm. He'll do whatever he has to do to get what he wants. That's all that matters here is just more money. Oh. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. He really likes this little song, doesn't he? Mm hmm. It is a pretty nice song. I mean, it is. It makes me kind of want a fancy dinner. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> Sending you in an old steakhouse, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. I hate that that happened to her. Yeah, I really wanted her to survive this. Or at least not- More than him. In, at least not ended up in a cinera an incinerator. Yeah. There it is, a short episode, but an important one nonetheless. We know who the front man is now. Mm-hmm. And... Which I had my suspicions about him already, but yeah. Well, and it begs the question is, why did you, you know, what, what, what would make you want to do that? Why why do you feel like, why why is it so easy for you to pull the trigger there on your own brother? I don't really know, it's a good question. He was a contestant in this, from what I understand, looking at the paperwork. Clearly survived, one of the survivors. A lot of the people who have been in these games have been low lives. We don't know what his <laughs> background is, but maybe, you know, he used to be a thug or something too. So maybe it's just the lifestyle he's used to. Well, I mean, the only thing I knew about him, not so much as a person, but really just as the the uh, detective's brother there, mm -hmm. the only thing I knew about him is that he lived in that tiny apartment mm -hmm. prior to being the front man here, and he had some issues of his own as well, because he kept having to, the detective kept having to 
pay back rent. Right. Is what it looked like just to keep the apartment. Something was going on with him. Not sure what. Maybe we'll never know. Maybe he was a problem gambler. Maybe he was in the mob. And like the other guy, he just racked up a ton of debt. He couldn't pay off. Yeah, something. But then you get a Sebak Se there. Mm -hmm. The young girl who got injured in the previous game. Injured in such a way that she just lost a lot of blood and just was too weak to do anything about it in I, the end. I was very disappointed with that because I thought of the three, she was the best option for a survivor. She had survived making it to the south. She had a family to look after. Whereas the other guy, yeah, he had his daughter, but his daughter at least still has her mom and her stepfather. And so it's like she has a means to be taken care of. His mom, for all we know, she's probably died by now. We don't know because he's been in this game for a while. Realistically, I think I think Seb Yock had the, had the most to fight for out of the three. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, her story's over. I don't know that necessarily her family story is over. No, because we saw the promise there that he made to her. So hopefully he follows through on that. But even sure. still, I, I think she would have been the better choice for a survivor. Yeah. She got to have a last meal, however little she ate. So. Yeah. That's not, I mean, that's something. But, not much of something, but yeah. But that sucks that the uh, whole point of that dinner was just to lure you into some some uh, false sense of security, only to leave the dinner knives at the end of the night. Yeah, so. uh, here, enjoy this nice meal. I know while you're at it, take one of these knives. It's a good show so far, and there's only one episode left, Dan. Yep. Yeah. Time, time for the grand conclusion. Until Absolutely. season two. Absolutely. And it is confirmed, folks, there's a season two on the way. So we're getting it out of the way right now. So the whenever Squid Game season two rolls around, we'll be all caught up, guys. But uh, that does it for this episode. Any final thoughts? No. All right. Well, folks, this has been Cocktail Flicks. I have no final thoughts either. So I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we will catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later.